Right, this is second grade, module four, lesson 14. We're gonna continue representing subtraction using that place value chart. Only this time, we're gonna be using three digit minuends. That means that first, did, uh, first number is going to have three digits, and right here. And, um, and then sometimes it's gonna require borrowing or decomposition, and sometimes it's not. All right, so in this problem, we're being asked to solve by writing the problem vertically and then checking your results using our place value chips. All right, so what we're going to do is first we're going to do the math using that standard algorithm. So let's get started. So we begin with 156 minus 42. And be careful. We want the students to make sure they line up the ones place and the tens place, and in this case, the hundreds place as well. So make sure that everything's lined up. Now the students can look to see if we need to do any unbundling. So we have six ones, take away two ones, and in this case, we do not need to unbundle anything. So six minus two is four. And then similarly, we have five tens, take away four tens, Nothing needs to be unbundled, so we have 110 left over. And then in the hundreds place, <clears throat> have 100 here, and there's nothing to take away, so we have 100 left over. So <clears throat> our answer is 114. Now, we should check it, so we're going to model it. So we're going to model it by drawing 100, 5 tens, and six ones. So there's our 156. Now we need to subtract 42. So we're going to begin by subtracting two ones. So I'm going to subtract two ones. One, two. And then we're supposed to subtract four tens. <clears throat> so subtracting four tens. One, two, three, four. And so what are we left with? We are left with, let's see, one, two, three, four, four ones, one ten, and one hundred. And of course, that's the same answer as what we got all along. And this is our last problem for this slide, uh, for this video. It's really kind of a short one today. Uh, so we're going to begin by uh, writing it vertically. 163 minus 45 uh, vertically, and now we're going to think about bundling. And remember, <clears throat> make sure that the student lines up the ones places, the tens places, and the hundreds places. And we're going to begin by looking at the ones places, and do we need to unbundle? Yeah, because it says we're supposed to take away five, but we only have three. So that means we need to unbundle. So we're going to take one of these tens, leaving five left over, and we're going to get ten ones for that ten that we're re-unbundling, <clears throat> which means instead of having three ones, we're now going to have thirteen ones, because when we unbundle a ten, when we unbundle a ten, we're going to get ten ones. So now we have take five from thirteen. And we can do that. So 13 minus 5 gives us 8. And then we have 5 tens take away 4 tens. We could do that. No unbundling necessary. So we have 1 ten left over. And in the hundreds place, it says start with 100, take away nothing. So we're going to be left with 100. So our answer is 118. And now we're going to model that to make sure that we've done it correctly. So I'm going to label my place value chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. And our students are going to use the dots. They're not going to likely use those actual place chips, those place value chips. Instead, we're going to have them model it with dots. So let's start, and we're going to model that 163. So we got 100. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then one, two, three. So there's our model for 163. And now we're going to subtract 45. And we're going to begin by subtracting the 5. Right here. We're going to subtract that 5. But we only have 3. So what we need to do is take one of our 10s and unbundle it. That's going to give us 10. And now we have 13 ones right here. So now we have plenty to take away the 5 over here that we're supposed to take away. So we're going to take away 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so we are going to be left with 8. So there's our 8. And this 10 is gone because he got cashed in, didn't he? And now. Over here, it says take away four tens. So there's our four tens right here. Take away four tens. And we could do that. One, two, three, four. Leaving us with one ten left over. And then we have one hundred left over because it doesn't, the original problem doesn't say to take away any hundreds. And so there's our answer. We have 118, and we knew that all along. So that's uh, Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 14, where we're really using that standard algorithm to subtract, uh, to subtract, although sometimes we're going to use um, the place value chart to just back ourselves up to make sure we've got the right answer.